like the deer that yearns for running streams. So my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, with great joy and thanksgiving to God, the Church celebrates the feast of the great Carmelite foundress, St. Teresa of Jesus, St. Teresa of Avila, doctor of the Church, a woman so steeped in spirituality and in the spirit, not in the generic spirituality of the world today, but more importantly, steeped in Christian discipleship and in union with the Holy Spirit, knowing that God called her to reform the Carmelite order so that in this reform, souls might come more closely to God because they are more formed and reformed to Him. Through her distinct Carmelite spirituality of mysticism and contemplation, she founded 17 convents of religious sisters who gathered together in asceticism and great sacrifice for union with the divine and through her own personal fidelity to this union she brought many many souls consecrated and unconsecrated to christ my friends of christ you and i we are called to do the same to bring countless people to christ our lord but for the times we have failed to do so, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the Church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we are saved. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. 
They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me, as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Do you become a doctor of the church? One must have lived such an exemplary life and have left a tradition and a legacy to the church so that generations upon generations afterwards, they might benefit, the church might benefit, the health of souls might be promoted and benefit. St. Teresa of Jesus is one such doctor. She has left many spiritual works that after the reform of her order and the establishment of 17 convents throughout Spain and the inspiration of working with John of the Cross, who later himself became a saint and a doctor, inspiring him to reform the men and religious men in the Carmelite order. She has left many a spiritual work, and likely her masterpiece, her spiritual masterpiece, is the interior castle. But my friends of Christ, Probably her most well-remembered words are these. In her original Spanish, Que nada te turba, Dios solo basta. Let nothing disturb you. God alone suffices. God alone is sufficient. God alone is all you need. Let nothing disturb you. There will be many things, dear my, my dear friends, in this life and in our lifetime that will try to uproot us from the firm foundations you and I are in in the church. There will be winds, changing winds of these times 
that will try to shake you and me and uproot us, trying to sever us from being connected and grafted onto the vine of Christ, as we hear in today's gospel. These changing winds of time will try to pull us away, try to destroy us, try to disconnect us from the vine. But let nothing disturb you. God alone suffices. There will be pains and trials and sufferings, but let nothing disturb you. God alone suffices. There will be storms and gale winds and terror, terrifying forces. Let nothing disturb you. God alone suffices. There will be hauntings of past sins that will tug at your heart, making you regret what you've done. Let nothing disturb you. God alone suffices. There will be mockings and insults. Let nothing disturb you. God alone suffices. There will be every demonic force that will come and try to come at you to get you, subtly or overtly, to turn away from God. Let nothing, nothing disturb you. God alone suffices. Saints in the making, Jesus himself says in today's gospel, and he is the way, the truth, and the life. We can always believe and trust in what he says. And this is what he says in today's gospel. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. Dear Heavenly God and Father, we hope and we pray to remain in Christ Jesus and to allow his words to remain in us. And so we beseech you, please, that nothing may disturb us, and that we may always be convinced and believe and live wholeheartedly the very words that St. Teresa of Jesus herself believed and lived, that you, God, and you alone suffice. Filled with love for the Father and confident in his promises, we join together to present our needs to him. For the Holy Catholic Church, may she continue to receive the help of Christ in using her prophetic voice. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected and appointed officials, may God give them favor and grace in working to protect the dignity and sanctity of all human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are facing adversity, may God graciously look upon their needs and bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us here today, may the intercession of Saint Teresa help us strengthen our prayer and deepen our relationship with God let us pray to the Lord. For all of the faithful who have died, may they find joy in the presence of our Father, most especially the souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. For those petitions we now add in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we beseech you to hear our prayers offered to you with love and trust. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness, 
we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the offerings, O Lord, may our offerings, O Lord, be acceptable to your majesty, to whom the devoted service of St. Teresa was pleasing in such great measure. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us. Amen. 
Therefore, we, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. 
Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your fidelity. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord our God, that your obedient family, whom you have fed with the bread of heaven, may follow the example of Saint Teresa and rejoice to sing of your mercies for all eternity. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Jude, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. The patron saint of our particular parish churches, pray for us. Our guardian angels and our patron saints, pray for us. The angel host of heaven and all holy men and women, pray for us.